some standard setting bodies already have ex ante disclosure rules. So why give me arguments? Why not all of them? And that is a matter of efficiency in my opinion. And surely as a matter of effectiveness, when the commission mandates standard bodies to draw up a standard, it should have the right to be more demanding on the standardization process to ensure that standards are less demanding when it comes to their adoption. That sounds logical to it, doesn't it? We could also think about enticing other standard bodies to adopt such rules, for example, by giving their output preferential treatment when approving them as European standards. And finally, why not tie the public financing of standards bodies to the existence of good ex ante rules? Let me wrap up this point anyhow by making one thing absolutely clear. We want to make standard setting more efficient and not more burdensome. Take that line out. We don't want uniform rules everywhere. We want smart rules that are adapted to their respective fields. And standard setting for software interoperability is not the same as setting a new standard for, say, digital television or mobile telephony. We should have the right rules in the right context. And the standardization reform I discussed earlier and the ongoing consulta uh, consultation on the draft guidelines for the horizontal cooperation <coughs> agreement will initiate a further discussion on ex ante disclosure in standard setting for organizations. And I'm absolutely convinced that a more visible role for fora and for consortia standardization in Europe will already lead to many improvements here. Okay, now we have taken care of the standards and they should be available. Deal, hopefully. But what can we do to ensure they are used in a smart way? We want to help ICT procurers to avoid missing opportunities. And together with my colleague Michel Barnier and uh, with Antonio Tanziani, we will draw up detailed guidance on how to analyze the technology buyer's requirements in order to make the best use of ICT standards in standard specification. By the way, that is quite a complex exercise, and not only because three of us are involved, so three services are involved, but it is also 